why is it still in monochrome? Oh, right. No. My camera is still in on monochromatic mode because it was put in the monochromatic mode. There we are. Colors. Comedy. All right. Let me just... Thing. Hello, hello, everybody. Your friend is finished pooping. I'm here, and I'm here. Don't go anywhere. I survive. Hello, everybody. It's me, the pooper. The pooper himself, Mr. Poop. Mr. Poopomatic 3000s. Let me touch on that screen. So we did a little bit of a thingy, thingy, thingy yesterday, everyone. Oh, that's going to make me even lower. I'm about to change the camera angle around a little bit. Because I got this pull-out section for the couch here. Usually, it's, I call it the peanut bed, the peanut sectional, if you will. Uh, but uh, today, I was going to do like a little cross-legged thing on there because, you know, it drops me down here. Nobody wants that. But, man, it does some wonders on my lower back. It feels nice. But we're back. We'll go sit in our usual sitting position. Now, we have a little smoky poo to get things going. I... Didn't clean up my bong. Give me one second. Here. BRB.
Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had ourselves a morning. I am here, I promise, I guarantee. Shit has been crazy. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm here, I am here. I am here, I am the here. Hello, hello. Hello, bonjour, bonjour. Ça va, ça va bien? Okay, mi amigos, how are you all doing here today? Oh, fuckers. Okay, so. <laughs> started the stream, then realized, oh no, there's a few things I wanted to do first, isn't there? Cleaned out my bong, somehow blast myself in the face with my own bong water, which is always disgusting. We got a kettle of water going here. So if we're doing voice acting for the next hour, not just chatting. You know dang well, I'm going to need some tea. Don't mind my forehead as I sit comfortably. All right. So, that is another... I'm really liking this one. It's peppermint, ginger, and zinc. And vitamin D. And a tea. I like that. All right. It's great, too, because when the tea goes cold, I mix it in with my mango electrolyte water. And it really did the trick. So, I dropped my headphones onto the mute button. Just another day. I'll top this bad boy up. And we'll be all ready to rock. Yeah, I know everyone, a little bit more of a delay than usual in here. Usually I'm, I, I don't want to say ready to rock, but ready-er to rocky-er. All right, and then just my pitcher of water. We're doing it. We're doing it, folks. So on the last episode of Pyre, technically I didn't even have an episode of Pyre. It was a just chat session that went horribly, horribly right. So. Oop. Put the lid on right. Big tool news, everybody. Guess who got their tickets today? Gonna see the band again. This is gonna be the fourth time I'm seeing Tool. And it's worth it every time. Take all my money. Take all my damn monies. Alright. The bomb going here. Got some hot tea. The calm and relaxed throat. After two hours of talking engagement. Ugh. Disgusting. Alright, here we are. Oopsie doo doo. All right, let's do some storytelling. So I started this one, started reading this conversation got about an hour and a half into the thing and only got like three sentences in. All right, here we go. Ah, New York, New York, New York, New York, New York, unique New York, unique New York, right? As you await the stars, a form dressed in the raiments of the right approaches you and Volfred. You at first presume that for one of your next adversaries, the fate, but he cannot be one of them. Besides you, Volfred starts something you have never seen him do. Get noivous. <coughs> you observe the colors that he wears, an inverse of the night wings. Volfred Sandalwood, it has been a while. No, this cannot be. The demon unfastened his mask. It can. You perished. I watched you fall. You did indeed. I grieve for years, and yet now you live. I do. All the, these horns, they grew longer ere I could walk again. Unbelievable. Then why are you here now, Orlac? Orlac. He is a former exile of the Night Wings, betrayed and abandoned in his moment of glory. You know full well, Wilfred, to reclaim what is mine by right. The demon Orlek leaves without another word. Just the stars above burst of life and seem to set the sky aflame. Who oh, will support him on the next to right? Support him on the next to right. Support him on the next to right. Sorry, just doing like an audio test here. 
test, test. Low, 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 lie, high, high, high. <coughs> the path toward enlightenment compels you forward. If you do not prevail in our right, learn what you can from it and process it. What lunacy is this? It would appear the night wings are to stand against themselves this time around. The anti wings? This is a mutiny. In violation of the sacred law. I like how narrators say piss. Face? Orelek. Long ago he had his chance. And he relinquished it. He cannot simply claim it now. And I cannot preside over this nonsense. Good Damn. Night. Oh, wow. No judge in this one, eh? What happened to the fate? The stars showed that we were to face them. They must have su mis <laughs> they must have suffered a misfortune of some sort. Tampering with the stars design is not permitted or our luck. Cheating the worthy of the rightful liberty is not permitted either, Wolfred. You must know I took no part in that betrayal. Search your heart, you know it is true. Oh, Lex has nothing for a time. Then where are your raiments, Wolfred? I have refused to wear them since. I show of and show solidarity to you, Orlac. And to elude the voice, I would suppose. Yes, that too. I see. You were never very good at this anyways. We shall see if that new lot of yours is any better. You cannot be serious. What sense is there in us standing against each other? But Orlac puts on his mask and stands ready. I shall crush the lot of you, Wolfred. You shall see that I am not so easily discarded, and you shall not deny my liberty again. Brita, the adversary whom we face Orlac, he is not one to back down. He was very experienced in the rites even at the time, and so beware. There was no one in his day who could prevail against him, and he appears even stronger now. I wish I had more valuable advice to give, and this, I wish I had foreseen this. Alright, well. Well, Hackens, you know Rookie's gotta be in there for this round. She's still unwell, okay. So. <clears throat> a Pam might be good against him. She has an invincibility bubble. She can just charge right through his charges. I mean, she can charge right through his cast. Okay, so I like Pamitha. Gilman's my fast, my best guy. My, my number, my good time boy. And it'd be nice to get him leveled up, so. They, these two would level up. They're already over there. And then Rookie. So, yeah, we're going for Speed and Pamitha up front. Okay, so. Start with Pamitha. She'll probably get the most amount of kills, so let me see. While flying, after bounces the adversary, Pamitha has to return and deals three more damage. Sir Gilman. Now, where's his ultimate? Is this it? Oh, race skill, yeah. 
I can jump 30% farther. Now my abilities right now, if all my allies are banished, I'll return. And if he's the only one left, he has unlimited stamina. And temporarily has unlimited stamina. Okay, okay. So he's like our last chance guy right now. Now, here's an, exing, ex, an easy 15 bucks if I give this to Gilman. And I'm gonna give that to him and this to Sir Gilman. Now, let's see, can I level it up? Oh, I can too. Eight per round, that's crazy. <clears throat> and then, yeah, okay. I don't know who this old like Bozo thinks he is, and come to think of it, I don't care either. Such a triumvirate, you have assembled Wolfred. Um, let us see what they can do. Come and face me, false night wings. <clears throat> mm, that's one. Oh. Not great. Okay, so they're a throwing team. Oh, fuck right up. What is this? I, I just... Come back, come back! Where's... What's... Okay. I thought Gilman had an ability to come back immediately. Okay. Wow! Yep. What the fuck it fuck? <laughs> You're going weak, dragging through the mud, the good name of the Nightwings all the while. These guys are fucking beasts, is all. Oh. What? Oh, I had the ball? When did I have the... No. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, these guys are monsters! What are these guys? Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet Jesus! Shit. Come back! His ability is to come back if all of his allies are gone! Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with losing to these guys. True night wings. Oh, okay. Suck my balls. True night wings. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, 
As expected, you call yourself the Nightwings, but you are the I only in name. And as for their rights, it is a mockery for what you once stood for. All this, a stain upon the legacy of the scribes. Wolford looks deep on as Orlick departs without another word. Mm. Orlick, forgive me. What did you do? What was that? <laughs> Nice. This night wonders at times about why we are here, and which forces have conspired to bring us here together. Has under King Ares himself taken an interest in this noble quest? Alright. So. For 10 seconds, after banishing an adversary, Sir Gilman deals an additional. A nice. <clears throat> oh, I have to banish somebody first? I'm good at time as I need to say thanks for having me along on this strange little journey of yours, darling. And now, Pamitha gains plus eight to quickness, making her move much faster. I might take a look at uh, Gilman. Now that I realize he gets an extra ten to his thing, I didn't realize it was after I have to banish somebody. His banishment I find very difficult. Very, very difficult. Much difficult. So that guy had increased presence. His buddy had increased, like, um, attack speed. That's crazy. Or, like, how he has changed. Scarce remembers now the one with whom we traveled then. I'm afraid so. I can only begin to imagine what he has been through all these years. Readers, as you can see, Orlick and I, we have some years in common, as f story for another day. I need some time to look at how all this affects our plan. The plan. The Wolfer's ambitious plot to spark a revolution in the Commonwealth, as peacefully as po possible. The plan's current probability of success, da la 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 48%. Reader, sir, Orlac is a principal person. His freedom was denied him when he was in his when he was in his grasp. A doleful tale. We'll do tell. Wolfred shall tell you more in due time. Of that I have no doubt. For now, it seems the stars beseech you once again outside. There, deep in the infinite dark, once more you see a single star shining brighter than the rest. The path of freedom beckons you again. Follow it. All right, what do we got here? Ah, Solium. Let's go. The only option we have here is a Solium. Okay, are we actually gonna play, place him, or are we up against the true Nightwings? Those sneaky dick bags. Are they in here now? Ah, okay. So we're gonna fight these guys again. I'm going to turn that shit off hard mode. Be like, fuck you guys. Tap dance on your soul. <laughs> Alright. Once more then, unto the fall of Solium. Excellent. Our plan proceeds at pace. We need but continue to make on all such opportunities the stars present so much as possible. Then our ranks within the commonwealth may yet grow strong enough that we shall sway the people towards our cause. It shall be difficult, but the people have their hearts and consciousness, and the commonwealth has long since lost its way. The never-ending wars within the Highwind remnants, the passing of more sentences of exiles than ever before, from increasingly more dubious causes. The burning of books, the outlawing of literacy, these are corruptions of the teachings of the scribes. Together, we shall prove it soon enough. Wilfred, sir, what of Aurelac? Wilfred says nothing in response, at first, but then. Aurelac appears to have his own agenda now. We shall have to try and keep an eye on him, although our plan remains the same. Anywho! We have a mountain which we need to climb. Let's all rest a bit, if possible, this night. For we fly at the break of dawn. 
Alrighty. Alright, I think or like and I have oh Tizo, okay. What's this? Xylobones. Would that we all could become musical instruments ere our bones turn to dust. Keepsake from Jamara Valley. Tizo. What's happening, Pepsi? Pepsi seems to spawn up following the confrontation with Orlek. Oh. Ooh. Tizo is filled with mixed emotions after seeing Orlek again. Ooh. Like Wolfred, he thought for sure that Orlek had perished long ago. <laughs> Pepsi is angry that Orlek acted so unfriendly with everyone. Well, I mean, that's what happens if you fall off a mountain, I guess. Then the little imp looks you up with all the sadness in his eyes, but says no more. He skitters up into the rafters. Alright, uh, continue your journey. We're gonna take off. Take off, you hoser. Alright. Don't think there's anything more to see here. Especially where you're going to Salium. Boo, 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 bee, boo. Boo, ba, ba, boo. Emperor's Fall, a pathway on the outskirts to Mount Ali Odell's nameless lower summits. You sense Faye shall gain favor from the scribes if you land there. A gap through the nameless lower summits to Mount Ali Odell. You sense Sir Gilman shall gain favor from the scribes there. Let's, uh, let's give Faye a hand here. No? No? Well, okay, there it is. Oh, because I'm pressing X, that's why. You land amid the old masonry of old Aliodel, at whose summit awaits the liberation rites. Thus begins our third ascent to the fall of Solium. My agents in the Commonwealth report our plan is proceeding. Let us strive again to liberate one of our own and raise its chances. The Beyond a Crystal seeks Bertrude, eh? All right. There you are again, my lovely reader. How may I be of service? How's it going, lady? A little bit, Sandra. Now that we're buds, we're cool now. Why are you doing this? Reaching out to me again like this. I have been abandoned in this blast of rock more times than you can count, reader. And each time, I have it off like so. <laughs> she laughs. Unconvincingly. I fear it will be different this time. Before, I knew that someone else would come around and puck up where the previous idiot left off, but now... She scoffs and falls silent for a time. Well, it seems there may not be a next time after this. If what I am to understand about the stars out there is even half-truth. So then, I can anticipate an eternity in utter solitude without the blasted rights to keep me company. Understand that... While I may be an apparition in a glass to you, I yet retain a shred of self and do not happily foresee what o that outcome. Mm. And yet, you keep on coming back to me like this. If this is all in service of a torment, then you are most cruel, O oh lovely reader. Commendably so, I have to say. So then, am I to understand that you wish to spend more time with me thus, knowing full well that the stars are soon to put an end to this little affair? As if in answer to her question, you feel what seems to be the Beyonder Crystal itself. The Beyonder Crystal seems to be pulling away from you. Or pulling you away? Hmm. Return to the crystal surface. Stay with Sandra a little while longer. The ancient source that sent Sandra to this crystal prison is not something to be trifled with. If you are to provide some, wel some welcome company for her, then you shall do it. You focus your mind and remain where you are, there, with Sandra, in the confines of the Beyonder Crystal, and remain there for some time. No words need to be exchanged between the two of you, and in the darkness there for once, she does not feel alone. Soon enough, however, she bids you to depart. You shall leave those idiots of yours listless if you remain here for too long. Be gone already, and let me know if you have need of me. 
Did you guys get freaky? I don't know why that's like the initial question for everyone. <coughs> Did you guys do the sex thing? <laughs> I shall gladly oblige, oblige my reader. Who is to be this lucky one this time? This one should be this pretty get this pretty doll over here. Okay, so you can't get money in this. This big old lady. Uh, no. Plus three to quickness. Throws the, what do I have right now for abilities for Miss Bertrude? Five less than. Yeah. Charge of time before you can use your orb blast is greatly reduced. So if that's the case. If I'm a speed blaster. A speed blaster? Speed blaster? So that's aura casting. Aura blast. Wait. What's the difference between an aura blast and an aura cast? Old circle. Okay, that's the same thing. Jesus Christ. Why do you give a dollar phrasing? Keep the phrasing the same. Sorry, I'm just get a little beard moisturizer in here so I'm not like, you know, Mr. Scarecrow. You asked Sonder to administer one of her special trials for Bertrude. The old bog crone, then. She does have some potential, I should think. More so than most of those whom you share that little residence. Well, then, bring her forth. Don't mind me. Bearding. Bearding, moisturizing. Ugh, ugh, yeah. Soon Bertrand appears in heed of the summons. We sense that thou hast need of us. Uh -huh. That was not my best Scottish. We sense that you got need of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I just ruined this. The apparition Sandra appears and unfashions her mask. Listen well, old crude. You answer to me here. Fucking hell! Oh, very elegant. May your vast experience exceed your knack for pleasant conversation. I trust that you shall have little trouble here without the benefit from your more communicative friend. Now come. Phrasing! You son of a bitch! Three, two, one, you... Yeah, but that bastard! Okay. I never was really that good with her. Come get some, Holby! Uh, I'm um, shit. Three, two, one. Come on. Right, right, turn it around, turn it around. Okay, yes. Understood. 25, though. She's def definitely difficult to score with. You absolute beach. D2, 1. No, Gilman, don't do it! Oh, you. <laughs> Gilman, no, I thought we were friends, good lord. Oh, good hell. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, they're being too kind. Okay. So when she jumps, she smashes them away. That's good to know. What? That killed me? Okay. <laughs> Noted. Was that because I landed in the ore or because I landed in the smash? Sweet mercy! Let's go. Alright. I mean... I kind of shit the bed with her. I do not know how to use her very well, but... A simple test. Undeserving to be called a challenge. You ought to fail you. I ought to fail you just for gloating, crone. But these are not my rules, and your performance was sufficient. Thus, you have passed my test. Congratulations are in order to you and your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Totes adorbies! 
The Hulk of Ores is a celestial landmark at sea. Noted. Um, good herence to that mouthy wraith. Show us then. What trinkets has she bestowed upon me? You receive Melitha's tail for completing Bertrude's trial. Bertrude's blast pierces through solid objects. Oh, a mage I like that. Okay, that's... Yeah, now she's a defensive beastie boo. All right, so... Bertrude's dex. Unusual etched cards depicting the greater titans. Probably for curses and shit. All right. But... Mm -mm. Seek the demon scribe's favor. With some time for despair, after having landed, you join Faye on a brief expedition to the monument of Salia Myrrh. Thanks be to each of you, the eight scribes, for it is you have united us together in this most sacred tradition. The path and the outcome are the same, is that so? Not so. So I ask, I not, I need not ask <laughs> if I'm sure of it. And so I shall follow unflinchingly the path you've prepared for me. Soon you and she are finishing paying respects. Soon you return to the wagon in silence. Whoop! Feeling as though Sully and Murr have shown you favor. You shall soon begin your ascent, though there is time to pursue your vocations. Sully and Murr, eighth of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the first exile, or last of his name. A once proud emperor who neglected his nation and found penitence in the downside. You gain plus two hope in the next right. Faye does, okay, yeah. Right on, let's go. Someone wants to talk? What do we got here? I don't know, it's Faye again, how about it? Faye seems to be speaking to herself again. She's unaware of your presence, or shows no sign of it at least. Mercy, freedom, they are intertwined. Mercy shall engender union among all their different kinds. Mercy shall endanger union. Well, union among all of a kind? Katrina, 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 I will show you union! <laughs> she is reciting paths just from the book of rights. Oh, okay, I thought it was an Overwatch thing. Though, to your knowledge, she cannot read. <laughs> freedom to the worthy. The downside cannot, uh, cannot let all of us go free. Thus, freedom to the worthy. Is that not so, O oh, Saint Triesta? Is that not the conclusion which you formed with your seven most trusted friends? She paused for a while, as though listening and nods her head from time to time. Yes, I see, I see. I see, well, I am ever grateful to you, Saint Fiesta, for your guidance and your presence. And I wish all of your friends safe passage there amongst the stars. It must be so very beautiful out there. With your wings ye can freely fly, can't you, Saint? You can visit me at any time, come and go as you please, from the stars all the way here. You do not need a pair of wings in order to be free, I know, I know. And yet sometimes I wish I was just like you, Miss Pamatha. Or like Miss Pamatha. But I know I am the way I am because I am meant to be this way. And I know that you are always watching, so thank you, Saint Triesta Tithus. Thank you, and your friends. She wanders out into the afternoon, leaving you there to consider her words. In the Commonwealth, her unwavering faith in the eight scribes would have been seen as a delusion. Such prayer or communion was forbidden. Scribes were mythical creatures, but even they worshipped the stars, and it was the stars that lied the way for the founders of the Commonwealth. Or so was Leta's thought. Alright. So we got a hippie on board. I sees, I sees now. Uh, let's take a look at the old roster Rooney here, see what we need. So, we're thinking of Mr. Rookie here. See how he's doing. Yeah, she ain't going. So, Rookie, the next up, I think, would be Faye. Alright, so, Mr. Rookie. Then, after that, be. So, maybe I'll have a mentorship with her. <laughs> Alright, Faye. Let's chat, shan't we? You would teach me more about the rites. Faye gains a somewhat stronger grasp of how the better pass the celestial or through strength of will and trust in one triumvirate than through dexterity alone. She nods in understanding. Fucking hell, let's go. 
the orbs from the stars, I think, or maybe even is one? Yeah, I'd probably burn your hand if it was a star, I'd imagine. Alright, moving on. Trudging on the mountain! Alright, liberation, right? Numero tres, good friends. Let's see what we have here. The Temple Cistern. A second of two path leading up the mountain summit. You sense bird true shall gain favor from the scribes along this route. First of two paths leading up the mountain. You sense Pepsi shall gain favor from the scribes. Ooh. I know she was low, low, low. Maybe I'll get her up so I can have her within a fighting chance to make it up top. No. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, she wants to stay down here. She's got her old career. She's got her old passion for the dead gods. I mean, the dead titans. So I, I don't think she'd want to go anywhere. Pepsi, on the other hand, Pepsi I don't think would want to go anywhere either. But Pepsi much more would rather get out of here than um, Miss Grumpy Pants. So... But... She is way behind. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Fuck it, Pepsi. If it's even just like a stat boost, like plus four to quickness, I'm not going to use Bertrude in this liberation right. While traversing the quiet solitude on the way to the summit, you pass a monument to Joe Mary Many Main, and Pepsi may happens to take notice. Oh, is this the voice? I greet you all again, old friends, and you especially, great-grandfather. Thank you for watching over me and all of us. My friends could maybe use your help if you would offer it to them. Whether through me or through any of us, we shall honor your names in the nights to come. Soon you and he are finished paying your respects. Soon as you pre prepare to continue your ascent, you sense that Joe Mare Many Mane has shown you favor. Pepsi gains plus two presence, yes! All right, let's go. Love it. Everyone knows Pepsi has a very dominating presence, so. You and your companions arrive at the Scraps Gate before any arch, before an arch wave carved with a stone. Shall we, reader? The minister will lead you towards his counterpart, who seems on surprise to see you approach. The Exiles of the Nightwings, and you again, Tariq. Greetings, Celeste. Aye, we have returned. The stars shine darkly these past nights. Nothing more of a portent of your arrival, is it? Likely nothing more. Now they are ready for you. Then come forth, each of you, in turn. Please state your name and what it is that you seek whilst crossing the scribe's gate. Wait, you... She points to Bertrude. You are new amongst the group. You shall go first. Please, do as she asks Bertrude, madame. We are known throughout the downside as Big Bertrude. We follow Sandalwood, for we are fond of him. He led us into an exile, and we shall lead us out. The gate guardian acknowledges her, and motions for the rest of you to proceed. Everyone does so, as before, <laughs> including you. Once you all have declared yourselves, she regards you all from another moment, and beckons you towards the mountain stop. Eight scribes, bid the night winds welcome. Go forth and with glory. Thank you, Celeste. Until the summit, Tariq. I mean, Tariq, why are you the lone minstrel that's singing a grand total of one song? You're a shite minstrel, mate. <laughs> we need to up your minstrel cycle. Oh, <laughs> wordplay. Love it. Comedy. Hey, welcome back, guys. You know, you, you know, I, I guess it's a pretty decent spot. You know, business, you know, son. Could used to be a real bad place up here, you know. I used to be here way, way, and way, and sometimes get real, real cold, like. Like I was telling you before, and stuff like that, you so anyway. You know, so you're buying something? Are you trying to guilt trip me? Bitch, please. Do, 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 do. Bottled void. After getting banished, the bear returns in a burst that draws the nearby adversaries. A burst. Okay. All right. So that's just over ten bucks each. Ten point three. Each. This one's about the same price. 
10 planet. Well, a little more mm, better. Da -da -da -da. That's the most expensive by ratio. Oh, yeah, I was looking to get these. These look badass and bitch them. Matchy ringy ring. So let's grab. Presence, quickness, and hope will be great. So let's grab one. Alright. I know, all the Goitai indeed. Now let us see here. I need 88 for the other one. Almost perplexing. Yeah. Yes. I don't think I'll be using that. Yeah, I'm only Guaitai indeed. Let's go. Alright. No, yeah, I'm only Guaitai. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now fuck off, Ron! Get the fuck out of here! Just get the fuck out of my face! Alright. Uh, just fuck right off, Ron! We don't care for you no more! Again, you have reached the Fall of Solium, where one among you can go free, provided you prevailed against the fates and the Liberation Rite. Raider. We would ask a moment of your time. We have to talk. As darkness falls, the minstrel and bull pulls you aside. We have some news that is, depending upon how you look at it, potentially unfortunate. The lone minstrel directs your attention towards the dark night sky. The stars. They're fading. It is true. With the advent of the Titan stars, visibly fewer stars seem to be shining than once you saw in the sky above. Yes, the stars themselves are vanishing. Why, I do not yet understand, but what it indicates is this. The rites are drawing to an inexplorable and an inexplorable... Okay, whatever. The light of the stars without it, the rites will be unable to commence. Anyways, this is bad news. The good news is that there are a lot of stars to go. How many liberation rights I do not yet know as yet. Do not know as of yet. Okay, there we go. The arithmetic is, how do you say, complicated. An estimation of the number of stars, the rate at which they fade, the acceleration rate at which they, we are being summoned here. Anyways, I'll work it out as soon as possible. For now, I felt that you should be aware. We can inform the others in due time. At the moment, though, they have this right to think about, and so do you. Look forth! As the stars above begin to shine, Bulford's words begin to sink in. It seems you have a limited number of chances remaining here to liberate your friends, including this one, right now. Here we go! If you liberate your exile, there, Kuptas will return. Congratulations, Frida. It would appear the rites are drawing to a close. Doubtless, the doing of that Orlek in all his bitter spite. For now, your exiles have another chance at freedom here upon the fall of Solium. So too do the fate, your adversaries. They fought so very bravely for this moment. Whichever side prevails soon shall send one of its own into the warm embrace of civilization. Gotta protect your neck, you know? Alright. The pyres burn and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointing one of the fate, come forth now and declare yourself and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. The bent old cur Dalbert steps forward and struggles for a moment with his mask. Greeting, good heralds, I am called Dalbert Old Heart. It is the greatest honor for my years to stand upon the sacred site upon which the eight scribes first anointed their glorious proceedings. Nightwings, we are honored to be in your presence once more. Father, they are our adversaries, not a host. We need not be so gentle with them. They shall do their utmost to keep you from your freedom. Dalbert, your son speaks out of turn. Control him. My sincerest apologies for his unnecessary outburst. Alma, please, 
We have worked toward this for opportunity, and we must make the most of it. He puts his mask back on. My son and I stand ready to begin. As for you, Night Wings, you bring darkness with you. You have what you have wrought upon the stars. Celeste, please. We do not know what is amiss here. The Night Wings have come only to see the liberation is carried out. Indeed, then. Make your choice, Night Wings. Who among you is to be anointed here? Who shall return to glory? Rookie, my boy. Let's see. Our three options are Sir Gilman. No, he's still repenting. Faye, no. She's more herself here than on the other side. Uh, Tizo doesn't. Pepsi doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to leave. She has result unresolved state. She definitely does not want to leave. So let's have Rookie rejoin the original three. Hedwin and Jody. So for his equipment, though. We're not going to worry about money here. Who will help him? Rookie will be... I think Pamath and Rookie really got along, so I think he would appreciate her help. And then maybe Faye. So, the items I'm going to equip on them. Let's just... Okay, so now that's sorted. We're going to equip these two rings here. And... The last teammate... will have... the health gain. I'm going to put the money makers over here. Here, let's... Take a little mo moment here to sort out some things. So these are money makers. Shake, 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 shake your money maker. Oh, feck off. Okay, money makers over there. This is douse dousing abilities. This will be straight up stat abilities. And these are stats, and these are just straight up abilities. Things that make you faster or better. And, and that's banishment. So banishment, stat points, abilities, and money. So, we're going to use the two rings. Presence, quickness, and hope. Amethy gets a ring, Rookie gets a ring, no, Rookie, what does Rookie get when he scores, which he will because he's fast as shit, do I give him this? There. Let's do that, let's give him the speed boost. Alright, let's verify his abilities. He can jump twice. Okay, I gotta remember that. He accelerates faster, runs faster. He can jump a second or third time. Okay, so he can run real fast and jump. Alright. Oh! 
after plunging into... Oh, is that, does plunging mean like jumping or just going in in general? Okay, so let's not worry about that. Let's anoint. He's faster. Rookie. All right, Rookie. Good choice there, chum. Though if I do get out of here, I don't know what I'm, you're going to do without me. Yeah, Rookie. You can't imagine it, mate. All right, I can see what I can do for him, Rita, darling. Oh, I can help. I think I can help. We give thanks to this opportunity to face you, O oh Night Wings. Now let us strive our fullest capability with honor and with grace. Liberation number three, everyone. Save your strength for the right father and for the voyage home. Let this be our final battle against them. No! Wow! Okay, he's fast. Right, that speed burst. he going? Oh, are you kidding me? Shit! Oh. Ah! Okay, okay. Jesus, these guys are hard. Yes, now, O oh noble Germa, for we beseech you. Surely we cannot prevail without your aid. If you, if ever you've heard my prayers, I beg of you, please smile upon us now. Whether from his prayer to the scribe or simply from Dabra's resolve, Something comes over your fellow exiles here, that they are banished now. They shall not. They shall not soon return. What? Why are you just throwing that shit in here? All right. Fuck. Bastard! Oh, that's a plus 26 from him. Damn it. Seem to be falling behind. Are they? Uh, are they though? This is the path to glory. Woo! Okay. That was close. Shit! Oh. Yep. Oof. Magnificent. 
Okay, one more. Now end the ceremony. Go, 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 go! Yes! Woohoo! God damn. The night wings proved their worth. Oh man. The heart rate's too. The heart rate's too strong. The ring's nifty, but it's not that the pair of rings, isn't that great? Or maybe it is, I don't know. And thus the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the night wings shall be free. Yay! Absolved of all misdeeds. Return to glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Alas, my son, once more it seems that I have failed you. Father, wait! What good is freedom to us, anyway, if we will be torn apart? So, uh, what now? I guess I'm just supposed to jump into this waterfall thingy back here and then, uh, that's it? Home, home free? Home, home, home free? Something comes over him, and then... Now listen to me, chums. Don't any of you go thinking that you're gonna miss me, yeah? You're gonna do just fine. Even out with the old green, rookie green tail. They had to keep an eye out after you all the time. Even though the rest of you are just a bunch of slowpokes, after all. R rookie green tail. He's an opportunistic and well-connected cur, still clinging to his once comfortable lifestyle. He has regained his freedom in a liberation riot. Me? I'm gonna go be... I'm gonna be so busy drinking myself silly on Commonwealth stock, I'm sure I'm soon gonna forget each and one, every one of you. But since just in case I don't, you be sure and stop by and visit me if you get back there too. Just look for Mama Greentail's shop, right in the heart of town and you can't miss it. So yeah, stop by, say hi, you know. Now I, uh, I gotta go, so um, excuse me. He drops into the shimmer pool and disappears within. Although you can still hear I'm going on about something. The Shimmer Pool. A seldom seen celestial phenomenon linking the downside back to the Commonwealth. Thus beneath a blooded moon the Sclorian waters rise up for a moment, only to fall again. Whoa! Let me tell you, this is weird in here! Hey, it's starting to- Oh, oh wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Rookie has earned his freedom. Rookie is set to return to the Commonwealth and leave the downside forever. <laughs> they just fucking boot him. Yeet! Scribes are ever merciful. By their grace, the cycle of the rites may yet continue for a while. Good on you, Fay. The scribes have mercy on us all. Father, wait! Calm yourself, my son. Deliberation right has ended. But, no! How can you be so calm? Even now, to what happened? Did you strive this night with all your heart, Aroma? Yes, but it was not enough. It was not enough. No, my son. It was enough. It was more than enough. Yeah. Him scoring? Jesus, like 26 points plus 8 to him? Jesus, don't let him get the ball. He's a beast.
You prevailed in the liberation right against the fate. Already does the Black Wagon feel a little quieter than usual without Rookie, who has returned to the Commonwealth. You overhear some of your companions reflecting on all of this. One second here, guys. I'm just going to check something on my videos. One second here. Video. I'm just going to make sure. I do want to upload all of my Pyre videos to uh, YouTube so that they're, you know, forever there. Alright, so there's episode four there. Okay. So I haven't lost... Okay, so the video's still there. Oh, shit. Okay, there it is. Yeah, my full playthrough of Hades. I mean, Bastion, sorry. I need to save that before it's gone. Upload that. Balls back in town. Mid at Blurs. What the God? Curse of the Dead Gods. Shattering out live. I'm just seeing what videos are expiring here. And then, full squad. Okay, so, that's fine. Oh, shit. Overwatching multiplayer. Uh... Okay, cool. Sorry, everyone, I'm just taking a moment to check my videos here, make sure... I gotta take some time today and make sure I download my uh, Bastion and my Pyre games. I think I can still stream what's going on since that my laptop is separate from my PS5. Might kind of bog things or slow things down for a minute, but that's fine. You overhear some of your companions reflecting upon all of this. He's gone, just as I was getting to like him. The scribes will see his safe return. You wonder who, if anyone among you, shall go next. Then, Wolfer has asked you to group up together. Oh man, maybe I should have sent Faye home. Because I don't know if you ever find out any more about her. I don't think she ever wants to go back, but I don't know who else I would send up there other than Rookie at this point. But yeah, I did want to have him had to have more interaction with Pamitha and, uh, and Faye, but whatever. That's fine. Then, Wolfer asked you to group up together. You said that uh, you know what news he's about to share. Everyone, I must apologize to bring you such news at this late hour, but I felt that you would all wish to know, as soon as possible, the context to our plan has been changed. He looks about at everyone before revealing to them what the stars have revealed to you. The stars are disappearing. They seem to be fading one by one for reasons that the scribes alone may not know for certain, though we all may harbor our suspicions. See for yourself, if you have any doubt that this is so. A hush falls over your companions, all exhausted from the right, and now stunned into silence. If this phenomenon continues unabated, and we have every reason to believe that it shall, then the rights shall cease where the stars no longer shine. Permanently cease, that is. The companions exchange glances. You sense negative emotions rising. Confusion. Fear. Before, I gave you the impression that, should the Night Wings not prevail in liberation, there would be other chances. This remains so, however, our chances are now numbered. The exact number I have yet to ascertain, but to be quite frank, there are more of us than there are chances. You sent your fellow exiles begin to realize what he means. I know this must be difficult to hear, but it is not to be a cause or a panic. Our plan remains essentially unchanged. We shall take which opportunities arise and return as many as we can. Both his ambitious plot to spark a revolution in the Commonwealth as peaceably as possible. Probability of success 55%. Nice. I urge you all to take whatever time you need to think this through. At dawn, we shall head south again to the Moonlight Alcove. We shall discuss further then. Now, please get some rest. Our path grows harder, but it is not unsurmountable. No, while we are stunned together, we can still prevail. Oh, not while we prevail. Yeah. The group disperses. Some whispers in hushed tones, the others turn to their quarters, speechless. There will be time later to better understand this ill omen. Ha! Sir Gilman! After liberation rites, you find Sir Gilman in his uncharacteristically characteristically quiet and contemplative mood. 
He salutes you crisply with his tail. Glory to you, Master Rater, and glory to this noble rookie Greentail. Long may he prosper in the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth. And in doing so, may he benefit the plan into which we have all been thrusted into. Then he falls silent for a turn. He sends with him growing very emotional. A noble rookie, this knight found a kindred spirit, Master Rater. One a questionable order, the grace of her for cunning, and such blinding speed as to perfit a minstrel's tale. This knight fears our triumvirate lost something irreplicable in him. Of course, this knight is also pleased that Rookie has achieved his freedom, very much so. And furthermore, this knight shall continue trading even harder than before. Oh yes, good reader, so, so, very hard, very firm. Rookie Green Tail! Wait, wait. Rookie! This knight shall train on, and such, at such time he is swifter than the jagged lightnings of the Deathless Tempest. Now, Master Rita, this knight must beg his leave of you, for his time, not for his rest, but for his training. Now that he is very grateful for your wisdom and your guidance in these rites, between yourself and Master Luki, you've instilled within this knight an unshackable resolve. He bows low and bids you a good evening. Boop. Bop. Squirt. Continue journey. Good morning, everyone. We are at the mercy of the stars, and none can say how soon they'll shine for us again. Let us recover for a while at Moonline Alcove and decide how to proceed. Moonlight Alcove, let's go. Doo -doo, doo -doo. How is this still on you? You're a funny pupper. Do you know that? You are a very funny pupper. Bide your time. Alrighty, everyone. That's good. I'm going to take a little memento here. Um, yeah, I'm getting wary that I'm going to lose that bash in a video. You know, Twitch has like that two week dealio, so uh, I'm going to take a little moment here. Maybe go for another joke to joke and uh, just download them, make sure that they're getting going. At least have them saved onto my lappy tuppy. And then uh, from there, I will see you guys in a little bit. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your morning. Have, just enjoy your day for everyone else in, the, in your wackadoodle time zones. And I will see you all in the next video. In the meantime, let's go take a looky looky loo into the treasure verse. And then we'll see. Who will we see? Who will we going on? Oh, I haven't seen Tildy in a while. Okay, let's go say hi to her. Alright, cool. So, everyone, say hi to Tildy for me. She's absolutely crushing it right now from the old Twitchiverse. Hello, Mr. Peanut Butter Bear. You, ha you, you noticed the sounds of the goodbyes, eh? Alright, everyone, take care. See you in the next one. Drink your water. <laughs>
concerts planned, but I do have a festival that I'm going to sing to um nothing down there stairs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna work this summer. I'm just gonna be streaming. 